You always have dignity. You're supposed to be the moral high ground. See, that's the con game that they keep running on us. We, we're supposed to take the moral high road and there's some type of morality, some kind of moral superiority in taking abuse. That's why they love propping up Negroes from the civil rights movement. You notice they never like propping up any black spokespersons. I won't say leaders, but any black spokespersons from any other movement. You notice, do you notice the dominant society, they do not prop up Elijah Muhammad. They do not prop up Noble Drali. They do not prop up Marcus Garvey. They don't prop up black people before the civil rights movement. The civil rights movement, well, they prop everybody up. And the reason why they do that is because the civil rights movement, that was the first movement where it's, it was on some kumbaya, let's love everybody and we're all in the struggle together and we're going to be very nonviolent and if you beat us, we're still going to just love you. They were like, really? Oh, build us some monuments for these niggas. We're going to name streets after you niggas. That's how you black folks are supposed to be, like them. And the thing is, if they do prop up a black person before the civil rights movement, they'll lie about what their accomplishments were, like Ida B. Wells. Somebody just mentioned Ida B. Wells. What's up, Alicia? When they mention Ida B. Wells, they lie on her. Whenever they mention Ida B. Wells, they lie on Ida B. Wells. I want y'all to understand that. They always refer to her. White women always try to say she's a feminist. They try to prop up Ida B. Wells as a feminist. Ida B. Wells wasn't no damn feminist. Ida B. Wells was about the black family. Ida B. Wells, she was a writer. They'll try to flip her narrative into being a feminist because she tried to organize black women to vote. The reason why she wanted to organize black women to vote so that they could come up with laws to protect black men from being lynched. That's what they don't tell you. See, they try to create a division between black men and black women. Which they use these shea butter bed wenches now. They use that shit with them. They do that with them now. And they try to put Ida B. Wells' name in that bullshit. No, Ida B. Wells was a rider. She's like, yeah, we're going to organize these women to vote for our men. So y'all will leave them alone. Ida B. Wells risked her life. They, had, they ran her out of the South when she was exposing Klan members and all these people lynching. Ida B. Wells was using her money to get white informants to go infiltrate the Klan. So whenever they put on their robes and hoodies to go lynch somebody, she'll start printing their names in newspapers and shit, putting them on Front Street. They're like, get her ass up out of here. Ida B. Wells was a writer. She was all about challenging white supremacy. Don't let them lie on our sister. That was a badass sister. When those white feminists told Ida B. Wells, we're going to have a women's march, but you women got to march in the back. Ida B. Wells said, y'all bitches can kiss my black ass and said deuces. Don't ever let them tell you she was down with that bullshit them white supremacist feminists were talking about. She wouldn't let them play her like that. You did? No, somebody, you infinite, you posting up the wrong number. That's the wrong number. And plus, I turned the phone calls off tonight, so. I turned the numbers off tonight. 